Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this video, this is geared towards my first time and beginner painters, and we're gonna have a lot of fun painting this subject matter. So a few things that you're gonna see in the description box below. There is a link down there for a supply kit, and those are your basic supplies to get started painting at home, so grab what you need. What you're also gonna see in the description box below is a link to what I call a traceable. And a traceable is a way for you to get your initial image on your composition before, or on your canvas before you even start painting. And for my first time in beginner painters, this is a nice way to not have to stress about drawing and you can focus more on the process of painting. Another thing that you're gonna hear and see a lot in the videos that I create, you have full permission to change up colors, switch out the composition, you know, change it, make it your own, even if you paint something entirely different than what's in the instruction. It, when you are kind of a little more comfortable with the painting process and you want to uh, jump your skills up to the next level, check out my online school, Paint with Lovejoy, and check out the Paint Your Pet course. On that, you'll dive in a little bit more to a value scale, and it is geared towards first-time painters, um, but you'll learn about your dark spaces, your highlights, and your main color. And when you paint something that you love, like your pet, you actually put more energy into it and you're gonna learn a lot more. So when you're ready to take it uh, to the next level, check out those courses on my online school. So I think we've actually talked enough. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the process of painting. All right guys, it's gonna be another fun painting and this one is gonna be geared towards more of my beginners and even advanced beginner painters because we're gonna do some subtle blending and changes. Um, so make sure you take your photos and if you are a first time painter, I do recommend that you check out one of my first time painter videos before you do this one. It'll just be a little bit more comfortable for you. So for this video, we are gonna start with the background and you have full permission to change the background. I'm starting with a light teal. Started with the white, added a touch of teal to it. And we're gonna be filling up this whole background. You do not have to paint as quickly as the video is going, but you're gonna fill in the whole background and then we're gonna do some wet on wet blending. And we're gonna build on this concept as we go through the entire painting. And we are gonna work with subtle blending. So like I said earlier, if you're one of my first time painters, um, maybe check out some of my first specific first time painter videos, get a little more comfortable with mixing your paint and the pressure of your brush, and then pick up um, and try this painting again after you've got a bit of a comfort level. Um, just so I don't want you to get too frustrated um, for your first painting. So here you can see that we, on the painting on the video, we have our light teal background and you saw where I slapped some of the direct teal and this is our wet on wet blending method. You can only do it while the background is wet and the more you move your brush, the more that new color and the background color are gonna mix together. Now, if you've followed some of my other videos or even done some of the first time painter videos, um, I will have talked about this quite a bit. And basically the more comfortable you get with this process, the easier your blending becomes and um, just helps you kind of create as you are moving along. So as you are applying and watching the video, I want you to just kind of mimic the placement of where you see me put each of the colors and just kind of duplicate that to the best of your ability on your canvas. Now I do encourage that you trust your instincts. So if you have um, uh, an intuition to put a color or something that I do not do, feel free to do that in your painting. That's how you're gonna learn by trusting your instincts and it's just paint. This is not the end of the world. All right, if you have not taken a deep breath, uh, please take one, just relax. Uh, sometimes when we're painting, we forget to breathe. So take a deep breath. All right, now pause the video, take your progress photo. We're gonna be moving into the bottom chili. And we're gonna, again, lay our base color and then we're gonna go in with a subtle dark shade um, and apply that on there. And then we'll also put a highlight. We will do the same thing for the second chili, um, but that will be with red. Again, full permission to change the colors of your chili if you wanna do green ones, two yellow ones, two red, uh, whatever you feel like doing. All right, 
doing good. Now, now that we've got that base of the yellow on, you can see that I moved to the pointy brush and I'm grabbing that pure white and I'm putting this on the yellow paint pretty thick. Um, you can see that I go back and kind of grab more paint every almost each spot that I'm putting it on. And then with a little bit of pressure, I can blend some of that white into the yellow. Again, you're gonna see how quickly this white diffuses. So on the spots that you want it almost pure white, you have to be very generous with the amount of paint you put on there. Now we're gonna move into a shadow and you're gonna pull some of that yellow aside, add a tiny amount of black. And here you can see that actually it wasn't enough. So I went back and added a little bit more. Same thing for you, start out super light. And if you apply it to the canvas and you realize it needs to be a little bit more, then go back and adjust your color. Again, as we go through this video, just observe the placement of where I put each of these colors and mimic that to the best of your ability at home. You're doing a great job for painting at home and continuing to push your skills. So here you can see I added a little bit more black to that mixture. Again, just kind of going back and re-enhancing some of those areas. And you wanna think that where the um, chili is on top of the yellow chili, it is gonna be that darkest shadow. So just going back and intensifying that is gonna help this illusion that we're making on a flat surface. So I like to tell my students that you're a magician. You are creating a 3D object, a 3D image on a flat 2D surface. And by doing that, um, we do that by using our value scale. And that's what we're doing here. We have our light highlight, which is the white. And then you have your mid-tone, which is the yellow. And then you have your shadow, which is that yellow and black. All right, so you saw where you needed to pause the video and feel free to pause the video at any point on any of my videos and go at your pace. Um, you do not have to paint as quickly as the videos are. Many of them are sped up but take each of these paintings at your pace. So for that top chili, we're doing the exact same thing that we did for the yellow chili. We're putting our base of our red, and I am using just the direct red. Um, if you add white to it, you will get pink. Um, if you add black to it, you get a bit more burgundy. So because of that, we are actually gonna do just the uh, shadow when we do the wet on wet blending, and then we'll let the paint dry, and then we will put some white highlights on top of that. Because again, I do not want pink on my chili pepper um, for, for this particular painting. So a few ways to kind of go around that. Now, if you are using student grade paint, and that is what I'm using in this video, you may notice that it might be kind of transparent. So you've got two options. You can apply your paint thicker, or you can apply a couple of coats on it to get a more opaque coverage. You adjust what you need to do um, for your painting um, and with the tools that you have at your disposal. All right, you're doing a great job. Um, we're working on a lot of subtle little small changes. So remember to get out of your chair and look at your painting from that distance of five to 10 feet away. So here on the plate, you can see that I am mixing my black and red. Um, again, if you need to adjust after you've made that color and then apply it to the canvas, feel free to adjust your color. Now, because I applied my paint pretty thick um, and I'm going in with this kind of new color, I wanna kind of keep that thickness and keep the opacity. So you can kind of see where I'm holding my brush at almost a 45 degree angle. And I am using the side of the brush to kind of move the paint and blend it together. You will notice that if you kind of go in with the end of the brush and use the tips of the brush, your brush strokes are gonna show up a lot more. And that's perfectly acceptable if you want um, what we call a bit more expressive or having your brush strokes show up. Um, I'm trying to go a little bit smoother here and keep the thickness of the paint, so that is why I'm kind of using that brush at an angle. All right, and if you are finding that you're uh, kind of shaky as you go to apply the paint, that does mean you're holding your breath. So laugh at yourself a little bit, smile, take a deep breath, and keep on painting. And if you happen to um, paint something somewhere I, I do not, or maybe you get a color somewhere you don't want it, you can always take a paper towel and remove what you don't want if the paint is still wet, um, and then reapply the appropriate color. Or later on, if you find out that maybe, oh, I should have put this color over here, um, 
you can with acrylic paint you can actually grab paint and paint on top of it for a second or third layer so there's always ways to kind of adjust with art all right again another spot to take your progress photo we're using the pointy brush and a yellow and green color mixture for the stems on both of the chilies and your call how much green how much yellow you want um, for the stem of your peppers so adjust as needed and just like the other steps today we are laying our base color and then we're going to um, put some highlights and a shadow on top of this so i like kind of just building on the same skills with more and more practice you just get more and more comfortable uh, with the process of painting so here grabbing that direct green that's kind of our shadow color again applying it kind of thick because i'm using student grade paint and then we'll use a bit of a lighter yellow green mixture for the highlight doing great all right so using some of that yellow oh not a yellow green mixture just that direct yellow and again just mimic the place where you see me put it um, I'm not blending too much with that base I'm literally just kind of um, placing that yellow on there and with a little pressure it'll mix there you go all right another place to pause the video and take your progress photo i do recommend that you let your painting fully dry before you move into this and now we're putting those highlights on there we're using the pointy brush and pure white paint and again just observe the place that you see me put this and mimic that to the best of your ability we're going into the chili pepper doing the same thing and like i said earlier we did want this to be fully dry so that we we don't have pink um, and this is a nice kind of kind of the shiny reflection that you would actually see on your vegetables all right doing a great job you guys again like i said earlier um, get out of your chair look at your painting from a distance of five to ten feet away and adjust as needed so here i'm going in back with that direct black and i'm using a bit of a dry brush um, placing the paint on there and then with a little bit of water on my brush um, kind of uh, i guess scrubbing it scummeling it on top of the background and because there's a little bit more water than there is pigment um, we can still see the background underneath and we're basically just kind of toning it down and giving a shadow underneath um, of the red chili. So this is almost kind of like treating the acrylic paint like watercolor um, for that shadow. Uh, the triangle shape underneath the red chili uh, is very transparent. Um, so using student grade paint actually is a benefit for that. There we go, and then adding just a bit darker. Um, again, it may feel kind of weird, so look at your painting from the distance and you'll kind of see that it just gives this little cast shadow but with still being able to see the color underneath. Now using that black and any outlines, I'm just kind of sharpening uh, the contrast where the chili peppers meet and kind of tightening up the stem. If you would like to outline the whole thing, go right ahead and do that and it gives a bit of a pop art feel. So great job, you guys. Thanks for painting today. And I look forward to painting with you again. Hey guys, how's it going? I hope your paintings turned out really nice. I'm proud of you. I hope you are proud of yourself. And I hope maybe the uh, concept of painting isn't as scary as maybe it was before you did this painting. So like I said, I'm really proud of you. As you're uploading your videos to social media or your pictures to social media, uh, please tag me at or hashtag paint with lovejoy or email me your photos, paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. Um, it truly is through your pictures that I post on social media and you talking about these videos to other people that has helped this channel grow and it encourages people that have never painted before to give it a try. Um, and if you found a lot of uh, relaxing qualities after going through the painting process, please share that with your community so that they can have those relaxing qualities as well. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or things that you would like me to paint in the future, please just leave a comment um, below and I will add it to my production list and check out 
all the other videos I have on here as well as my online school and keep your creative efforts going. All right, so thanks so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to painting with you in the future. Cheers.